Good morning guys, we're on shoe day, oh my god, I can't believe it. It's currently very early, 4.31, just done tracking pictures, had a double espresso and I'm going to do it to journaling and then I will get on with like doing makeup. Um, I've got an oats milk to have before I leave and then an oats one to take and like some rice cakes as well to take so I'll make sure to get all of that in. I'm contemplating, actually I'll probably do my makeup prego as well. As you can see, it's a bit patchy. It has actually developed really, really well um, on my body. It's just my face um, needs a bit of topping up. And also I need to do like a second layer of tan. Um, so I didn't know whether to do that myself or just get the tan when I'm there. I don't know. I haven't quite said yet. We'll see how much time I've got. I've got ages. My friend's coming to pick me up around 7.30, I should say. Three hours um, to get things ready. So no rush, really. And it's going to be a nice kind of normal-ish, well not normal, <laughs> I've got things to get done, but um, chill good morning. Makeup is done apart from lipstick, which I apply when I'm there. Not red, <laughs> just a soft kind of pink lip gloss. Um, and I can always top things up. I did try and use the fake eyelashes. They didn't really go, I, I couldn't really do it. So I may try and apply them there or we just leave them out. Don't know yet, we will see, but I've got a pack and then we'll be ready to go. Yes guys, we're almost there. Just need to put some water in my bag and um, my food in my bag got my bikini, I've got another bikini just in case anything goes wrong with that one. got my outfit for my fitness, um, my heels, change of clothes, I think I've got everything, makeup, top tan just in case I can't find where I'm going to be going for my tanning when I'm at the venue, I think, I think we've got everything. <laughs> Um, and I've got like about 40 minutes till my friend comes, so plenty of time. I can never be late to things, I don't know what it is, I just have genuinely like an inability. I need to put this in my bag, but it's a bit late, I've got hairbands. And so the fitness, I'll be putting obviously my hair up. So I've just had my first meal, which is actually the same as the meal I'm taking. So 75 grams of oats, 100 grams of berries, 100 grams of almond milk, well, actually it was a mixture of almond milk, milk and 10 grams of almond butter. Also taking just some loose rice cakes and some rice cakes with some almond butter and some raspberries and then some water. Um, so they are basically the meals I'm taking and the ones I will probably have before show.
Hey guys, we are finally home. It's a very long day. We're about, I think it's like 8 pm now. I've got a set, so I won. But I was the only person in my category, so it was inevitable that I was gonna win. Um, and first place medal. And because there were five fitness girls, I did not get a pro card. Um, I did get some feedback from the judges and they said my routine was amazing. But apparently I need to add in like a straddle jump um, and more press ups. I thought my contortion press up was like super cool and that would be fine. But they said I need like a proper kind of more conventional press up. So um, that is obviously good to know. I haven't decided what I would do going forward yet um, just because obviously I did really want to get my pro card and I will try and appeal but um, we'll see. So yeah, sort is nice. <laughs> um, it was really lovely actually at the event because I felt like a little celebrity because everyone kept wanting to come and get pictures because it was a big expo um, and so that was actually really nice but I do feel kind of sad that I haven't got a pro card. And yeah, I don't know. We will see. Um, I will probably sleep on it and see what I decide. Obviously, I go off now to Bali, um, but I'll be training and stuff there. But I won't be prepping, obviously, when I'm there. Um, yeah, that is it. So thank you so much, guys, for the journey. There will be like more, obviously, a debrief from the competition and everything. And I'm gonna eat and I'm gonna shower first because I feel really like, disgusting in my tan and stuff. Um, and then I'm gonna go to bed. And we are back in the gym, back in my happy place. So this is the next day. I will probably do a bit more of a debrief on the competition and also what I plan on doing going forwards. I'm still kind of currently deciding, so obviously I'll let you know um, when that happens. Today I did a leg session. I started off with the adductor machine um, just to warm up, so I did, I think it was two sets of this. And then I moved on to cable kickbacks, again a bit more of like an activation exercise. For cable kickbacks I do tend to just use the, um, I think it's the D-handle. Obviously it's better actually if you've got the, um, the cuffs, but I do have them but I just didn't bring them in my bag so yeah we've got the D-handle for them. And it was just warm-up sets, so we did three sets of this. Um, first set fairly light, second set a little bit heavier, and then the third set again heavier. After the cable kickbacks, I moved on to hip thrusts or glute bridges on the glute builder hip thrusts I think I've probably mentioned before or an exercise I never particularly used to enjoy doing and I didn't really do them that often actually I do find it as a very beneficial exercise to help grow the glutes and also for hamstring contraction so you, you want to make sure you're not going all the way down to the safety bars and then you're really focusing on squeezing the glutes as the hips lift up and then slowly lowering down and you can do a bit of a pause at the top of the movement. This was one of my warm-up sets and then we went on to a slightly heavier set and then my main working set which is the set you'll see in a second. So it was a bit difficult to get into this machine just because the pad is obviously separate from the barbell and sometimes it goes round to the wrong bit um, which means you don't really have much support from it. Yep, so this was my heavier set um, today. Again you can really focus, see I'm kind of focusing on that squeeze at the top of the movement and controlling the lower down. After the hip thrusts, I moved on to split squats. So again, I did do a warm-up set at 40 kg, so just 10s on each side, and then I did two main working sets at 50 kg. And I was working the rep range of about 8 to 12 reps. 
So 8 if it feels particularly heavy, 12 if you know it's a little bit lighter and I've still got a couple more wraps in me. And then obviously changing to the other side. You want to make sure when you're doing this exercise you're really focusing on that control um, and as you're standing up you're focusing on engaging the glutes, um, engaging the quads at the front. And after the split squats I moved on to my favourite exercise of all time, good mornings. I stuck with 15 kg on each side, so 50 kg in total. I think I did do one warm up set at 10 kg, um, and then my main working set 15, and then I did another set at 15 kg. Or 50 kg, I should say. 15 kg on each side. And I was working in the 8 to 12 rep range again. After the good mornings, I moved on to hamstring curl. I really enjoy doing this exercise. I really like the laying hamstring curl. Um, I've mentioned before, for sure, you need to really make sure you're driving the hips into the pad and almost lifting like the quad a little bit off the pad towards the end. Um, then you're really focusing on that hamstring contraction. I then moved on to leg extension. I just did two sets of these just because I had also done split squats and still I think I am probably a little bit quad heavy um, even though I don't particularly train them that often. I think just probably from years of gymnastics maybe um, my quads are just better developed than hamstrings. I then moved on to single leg leg press. This wasn't ideal because I did actually want to use the plate loaded leg press. I do much prefer that. However, that's often being used um, and I was a little bit limited with time. So I thought I'd just go on the resistance machine instead. What I find with the resistance machine is it just doesn't quite go low enough, the seat um, into the pad, but anyway, we make do and it was still, you know, an effective exercise for sure. And lastly, I moved into my final exercise, which was the calf raise, the standing calf raise. I really enjoy using this machine. Um, I find I get really good contraction. I don't get particularly heavy. Um, but what I normally do is I start off at, you know, the heaviest possible weight that I can do um, for around 12 repetitions and then I'll take the pin out and I'll immediately drop down to a slightly lower weight and then eventually I'll end up normally taking the pin out altogether so there's no weight on the machine and I'll just do kind of pulses towards the end just so I'm really fatiguing my calves. And yeah, that was pretty much my session. So I hope you guys have enjoyed that video.